If you've forgotten your Apple ID password or think that your account has been compromised, you can reset your password to regain access. I recently ran into this issue when my sister purchased a new iPad and when setting it up, we couldn't access the account. Your Apple ID is the key to all services Apple, the App Store, iCloud, Face ID, and more. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to reset your Apple ID password on the iPhone. This will also work on your iPad. This can be done quickly and securely. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Here are some reasons you should reset your Apple ID password. The first one, if you forgot your password. If your account is locked or disabled, you suspect unauthorized use, or you're switching devices and want to secure your account. For the reset process to go smoothly, here's what you'll need. The email address associated with your Apple account and the phone number associated with the account. A trusted Apple device, your device passcode, and a stable internet connection. There are several ways that you can reset your Apple ID password. You can visit Apple's account recovery webpage or on your iPhone or iPad, you can reset your password via the settings app or the support app. So let's start with the settings app. And this is provided that you are signed into your iCloud account. So we'll open the settings app We'll tap on your name at the top, so make sure that you're on the main settings page. Tap your name at the top, select sign in and security, and now select change password. Once you do, you'll see that Face ID recognizes me or you'll have to type in your passcode. But once you're into the password change area, you can type in the new password, retype the password, and then go ahead and tap on continue. Apple will verify the password. If for some reason you aren't using a passcode on your iPhone or iPad, you'll need to enter your current password before choosing a new one, which can be challenging if you don't know what the password is. If you have a recovery key set up, Apple will ask you to enter it before choosing a new password. You can also use the support app if you don't remember your password or you don't have a trusted Apple device. You can use the support app with the help of a friend's iPhone. So let's open the support app. Tap on it to open and then choose reset password. And you would be doing this from a friend's device. So I'm going to open it and you'll see below where it says reset my password. So you can reset your password from inside the support app, but you can also help someone else reset their password. So you'll tap on help someone else. And now you're going to enter the Apple ID or phone number of the other person who needs to uh, reset their password. Once you do, you'll go ahead and you'll tap on continue. You'll be asked for some other information, just follow the menus. And then finally, after completing all the tasks, you'll be able to enter your new password and verify it on your Apple device. You can also use a web browser if you need to reset your current password and don't have the use of a friend's device. What you'll want to do is you'll want to open up Safari and type in iforgot.apple.com. Once I do that, I come to this page where it says reset password. Go ahead and tap on reset password 
enter all of the information that you need. And once all the tasks are completed, Apple will send you a notification on all your Apple devices that are signed into iCloud. Once the notification is accessed, you can reset your Apple ID password. Now, if none of your devices are signed into iCloud, you'll have some options. Tap on don't have access to any of your Apple devices. And then next, select the best option that suits your needs. The first option will be reset your password while signing into a new device, use someone else's iOS device, or use an iOS device at an Apple store. There may be reasons that you're unable to reset your passwords, and one of those is if your Apple device account is locked. Apple will lock your account if suspicious activity is detected to protect your account and personal data. You may receive a message like, your Apple ID has been locked for security reasons. Again, you can go to iforgot.apple.com click reset password, and then select the appropriate option and follow the on-screen instructions. Your Apple ID password is very important, and so you want to keep it secured. Here are some tips to do that. You want to enable two-factor authentication, and to do that, you'll open the settings app, you'll tap your name at the top on the main settings page, You'll tap on sign in and security, and you'll tap on two factor authentication. I already have mine enabled. Follow the instructions and enable two factor authentication. Another thing you want to do is choose a strong and unique password using a combination of numbers, letters, and special characters. The other option you need to do is to review devices signed into iCloud to ensure no unauthorized device is sound, signed into your Apple ID. So to do that, let's, I'm going to hit the back button to come back to the main uh, Apple uh, iCloud account, and I'm going to scroll down, and you'll see all of my devices listed there. If I see a device that is unauthorized and shouldn't be there, I can tap on that device, scroll to the bottom, and tap, tap on Remove from My Account. So you want to remove any device that is not associated with your account. And the last thing you can do is set up a recovery key and a recovery contact. Again, I'm going to tap on the back button at the top. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to tap on sign in and security again. I'm going to scroll down and you can set up a recovery key or a recovery contact. Resetting your Apple ID password might seem tricky at first, but with the right steps, it's easier than you think. Whether you've forgotten your password or just want to stay secure by changing it every so often, it's good to know you can handle it yourself. Remember, your Apple ID is like the key to your digital home, so keep it safe and up to date. If this video helped you feel more confident with your iPhone or iPad, be sure to subscribe and share it with a friend. You've got this. I'm always here to help. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.